Hey guys, welcome to Troy Time. Check it out. We've got something great for you today. I love this thing. This is one of my favorite, probably top three ways to grow, okay? This thing is rocking. This is my living grow wall, okay? It's awesome. We're going to show you how to build it in this video. I learned a lot of stuff when I was prototyping this, so stay tuned. Uh, it's not hard to build, but I've made some changes, and I learned a lot of things on my first prototype. So I want to share that stuff with you and some pro tips on this guy. Stay tuned. We're going to show you how to build it next. Right now, we're using lettuces, but you can use any leafy greens, kale, pak choy, peppers, um, uh, I'm even going to try some, some baby tomatoes on one of these as well, and also herbs. So you can just stack this thing. Some of our other towers are small. They're meant to be nice and fancy and kind of out on display in the kitchen. This thing is, this thing is a workhorse. This thing is going to make some real food production for you. So it's like a little mini living farm right here. I'm loving it. It's been working great. I'm going to show you how I do it, and uh, let's get to that build next. Hey, guys. I want to touch base real quick. Um, I've decided it's time to probably make a Facebook page for Troy Time. Uh, a lot of people have messaged me to uh, be friends on my private page, but I do want to exercise a bit of privacy in that, that part of my life and a little bit of, of OPSEC. So uh, I, I think uh, making a, a Troy Time Facebook page is great. A lot of people I know have been wanting to leave comments and stuff, but you can't do that on the videos unless you have a YouTube account. So having a Facebook account will make interacting much more easier, both between me and you all and each other, uh, asking questions of each other and everything uh, on the Facebook site as well. So it is going to be Troy time. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. And uh, yeah, so we hope to see you there. If I do remove you from my personal account, I know I had posted some reels and a bunch of people jumped on my personal account. So don't take offense to that at all. Just jump right over to Troy time and uh, we'll chat over there and it'll be great right so uh troy time youtube uh page and then a troy time uh facebook page along with it so i think it's time for that and hopefully uh you know that'll do well as well but it'll definitely give us a chance to interact a lot better and easier and i can post just pictures it's not such a laborious task to try and go through a whole video and edit and all that so i can respond much quicker like if there's sales that hey there's sales on these solar panels or look at this sale happening on these hydroponic nutrients i can just post it on there and get that information to you without having to make a giant video and go through all that process, okay? So I think it's gonna be great. If you're not on there already, jump on over to that Facebook page, subscribe, and I'll definitely accept you. Be kind to each other, uh, be kind to each other over there too. So let's have a good community, okay? Take care guys, we'll see you there. Okay, first let's talk about the great news. Sometimes you see these things and they are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I've seen certain types that are over a thousand dollars and more. You can build this thing for 20 bucks. Okay. $20 gets you this build. You can put it near a light source, a, a window, something like that. Add a few dollars for whatever you want to pay for a couple lights and you'll be in business. Okay. But generally you can build this thing for 20 bucks. All right. It is rather simple. It's very, very simplistic, but as you can tell, it works really, really well. Okay. What we have here is a hanging shoe rack from Amazon. I paid $13 for that, $12.99, okay? It has 24 slots. It has four across and six down, okay? So it's a large structure. You can grow a lot of plants. Using 20 ounce styrofoam cups inside the slots, and I'm capping them off with a pool noodle, okay? I'm gonna show you the exact way that we do that, okay? In just, in just a minute here. But if you notice, so I have this hanging. This is my first pro tip. Um, I'm on a gardening website in a couple places, um, mainly the uh, Mike Van Duzzi, uh, Keep on Grow with Mike Van Duzzi. I know there's a lot of guys there and gals that are running some grow racks. Like I, I have a couple racks in the room. So where I've chosen to place this is on the back side of a grow rack, right? What are you doing? All you guys that have grow racks, what's on the back? It's wasted space, right? You could be growing all of this on the back. Just throw a light back there and throw this little grow wall on there and you've just in, gained so much capacity, right? So that's my first pro tip. I've got this thing just, and it's so easy to do, it's just on the back of my grow rack. I just zip tied a couple boards up top and then uh, I, I zip tied them down so that they stick out and then I just hung the lights beside it. And the actual, um, the actual shoe rack is sitting right there um, just connected right to the backside of the mount. And I had a Mylar blanket already on what was the backside of the grow rack, and now it's the front side of this. So I'm getting double duty out of my Mylar uh, blanket as well. So it just works out so awesome. Great way to capture space that you probably have but are not currently using. If you're running any kind of grow racks, that's a great spot for it. But there's tons of places that you could put this. You could put this on the back of a door, even closed in a closet. Another spot that people don't realize is, is available, uh, you could cut it to a certain lengths or use a different uh, uh, organizer. You can hang it on the side of your fridge. 
and have access to this right there while you're cooking, okay? So you, because it's cloth, you can cut it down to whatever shape, whatever size you want, okay? And I'll show you my second pro tip. Dollar Store has these with eight slots for $1.25. So instead of doing this one for $20, you could probably make one for about $5 that's got eight slots. Come on, people, do some hydroponics here. This is so easy and it works so well, right? So that's my second pro tip. Make sure you're following along because I'm just kicking these things out. Okay, so I'm going to talk just a little bit here about how I started and what were some of the problems so that if you're doing other stuff, if you run into those problems, maybe that'll help you uh, figure some of those out as well. So all this is, like I say, it's a dollar store uh, or, or Walmart styrofoam cups with the Amazon uh, shoe rack. I'll post a link to that. Uh, but any, any shoe rack, you know, it will, will work. And so uh, I'm just going to show you the method that I currently use, a few things that I've changed, and that's, uh, that's coming up next. Okay, I wanna talk for just one minute about the progression and some of the problems I solved. So in case you have those problems in other systems, maybe we can all share ideas and help each other out, right? So when I first started, this is what I used, okay? This is what they call the double cup method. Okay, it's two red solo cups nested in one another. The top one has holes cut in the bottom. You fill it with dirt. You put about 10 lettuce seeds in there and eventually the roots will work its way down into the bottom uh, empty cup. Okay, and that's where you bottom fill the nutrients. You lift the cup up like this, you pour the nutrients in there, and then you set the cup back down. Okay, that method works very well for a very small number of uh, cups. So let's say you had three of these set up in your windowsill. If you're not doing anything, do that. It works great. It really does. I'm going to post a picture here. You can see just how much you can get from a single cup. Okay, so it does work, and it's awesome, and I used that, and then I liked it so much, I did like 20 cups, right? Here's the problem. So, when there's 20 cups, it's a lot to fill, right? So, uh, it's got dirt for one thing, and then they, they tend to kind of suction together once the plant gets down there, so it's kind of hard to remove this. And then if I'm holding this with one hand, and then I'm trying to pour with the other hand, this there's nothing to hold this cup here, so it's unstable. So, filling it's kind of a pain, okay? And when you're doing that across 20 of them, it's a big deal. It took a little bit amount of time. The other thing is sometimes when the plant gets really big, it gets top heavy. So what happens is it falls over, right? Well, then you have dirt and water on the floor. And where I was growing had carpet. So that was a real concern of mine. So again, the best use of this is like the windowsill of your sink, right? Put two or three there and you can have a huge amount of growth. So it's really, really good. I'm not, I'm not downplaying the, the, this method. It, it is really good. But I want to explain some of the challenges that I was trying to fix. So the fact that it had dirt was a problem. The fact that it was top heavy and wanted to fall over all the time was a problem. And the fact that it um, was tough to fill and took a lot of time, okay? So those were the three things about that, but it's a good method, right? So then what I did is I started the shoe rack um, method, right? So then what I did is I wanted everything to look nice and clean. So I had white cups, I had white pool noodles, I wanted it to look just white and green, right? And I was trying to direct seed them. So I did a method that I call owl eyes, because if you look at this to me, that kind of looks like owl eyes, right? So that's what I called this method. And what I did was I direct seeded, I made a little wick, right? I just twisted uh, a piece of um, uh, paper towel, and then I would stick the paper towel wick down in there, and I would put the seeds right on top of there, and they would grow, right? And then originally I was using some red Solo Cups as like a, a humidity dome, right? So this is what the final product looked like. You may remember when I posted that a while back, okay? The problem with this method is that it, um, it did work, but it only worked about 50% of the time, okay? I had different issues. One, sometimes when this, this got wet, when the wick got wet, sometimes the whole thing would fall down into the drink. Okay, so that was a problem. Sometimes the wick would get wet and it would break off right about here, right? And so it would not be in the water anymore. So that was a problem too. So the wick was sort of an issue, okay? Secondly, or thirdly, what would happen is sometimes when I would go to water it or sometimes just, just on its own, if the pressure wasn't right, there's so much tension on this. I like the tension because it hold it, but it acts like a spring and it would pop all over. And once it popped, then the, the wick would fall down into the drink and the seeds would basically be just drowned, right? So that had a big issue. And then thirdly, since I was using the white pool noodles, man, did I get some algae. That stuff was like gruel. I should have held on to it for Halloween because it was dark green and it was nasty. And it got that way really quick, okay? So the issues with this method was that I had big time algae because of light intrusion. Um, 
and I had some real problems with the whole wicking and, uh, and, and I had some real issues with just starting the seeds right there in the cup. Okay. So let's talk about what I did to solve it. Okay. So this is the method that I'm currently using. Okay. And just for reference, I call this the, uh, the Groucho Marx method because I don't know, maybe I'm a little crazy, but to me, that looks like the eyebrows, some of them more than others, but it looks like uh, Groucho Marx uh, eyebrows, right? If you all know who that is. Uh, a little bit, actually a little before my time even, but that's what it reminded me of. So that's what I did. So let's talk about what I've done. Okay. First change, black pool noodles. Okay. Black pool noodles really make it. So let's dissect this a little bit. Oh, yeah. So real quick, I also wanted to note when you just saw the grow wall, that's totally ready to harvest. And it's only been less than a month, right? It's been like 26 days, something like that. You saw how much lettuce there was. You could harvest that right now, right? So unlike waiting for a whole head of lettuce, which is, um, you know, uh, 60, 65 days, that's ready to go. And it's ready at like, you know, 24, 30 days, something like that. Okay. So it's beautiful because again, we're using, we're not filling the whole thing, but we're using high density uh, lettuce or greens when we're growing in that. So each cup up there has about, I think five, five, eight, maybe 10 on some of them, uh, lettuces, uh, lettuce seeds in it growing. Okay. So we'll talk about that. I, do, I no longer direct seed them. I transfer the plants into them. And how I transfer the plants is from my high density lettuce trays, which is going to be one of my upcoming videos. It's one of the things I'm most proud of. It's one of the things that I really think just works really, really well. So watch out for that. Next day or two, there's going to be a grow video, a build video on that. I'm super proud of that thing. I use it for everything. I really do. I seed my whole outdoor garden. I seed on those trays. Okay, but we'll talk about that in the next video. But so just realize we're harvesting super soon as well. So it's, it's super great. <laughs> Everything's super with me. I think you'll, if you haven't, if you haven't noticed that by now, uh, you'll, you'll see it in the future. It's always super, right? Or awesome. <laughs> Anyways, so let's talk about this uh, little Groucho Marx method here. So first thing I did, let's break this guy down. So it is double cup now because one, the white cup, I'm double insulating it, right? So that's going to help keep out the light, okay? To help keep out the bouncing, I put a rubber band across the top. That way these just don't go flying, right? So rubber band, and that rubber band is on the inner cup, and then it gets nested, and the outer cup holds it in place, okay? Let me show you a little further away. I don't know how much I'm in frame. Rubber band on the inner cup, the outer cup holds everything in place and makes it darker, right? Okay, now on the eyebrows themselves, the pool noodle, just using the pool noodle here, what we've done is, take this off, I cut a pool noodle in half, all right? I cut a pool noodle in half, and I've actually used toothpicks, okay? This one's, I don't know, this one's been moved around a lot, but I've actually used toothpicks to hold like a sliding mechanism. So now it's on a slider, so you can put plants in and pull them out, right? And usually I have it going all the way through like that there. So now being on the slider, boop, plants in or watering in and boop, close everything up. And if the plant begins to grow and push, then it just expands. So you've made like a little working joint here, a little working uh, machine that just helps hold the plants and then close everything together. Okay. So I've nested that in. I like to put, I like to cut them right so that they go inside. Okay. And I like to tuck the pool noodles, cut them right to side so that they tuck inside the inner, inner uh, cup. Right. And then it looks like eyebrows. Groucho Mark style, right? So let's, oh, and then let's look inside. So here's the deal. This thing's been in the light, in the, in the thing, for a month. That's really clear liquid. There's a little bit of stuff down at the bottom. But it's been, in the, it's been under the lights for a month. And that liquid is really good, okay? That's just Master Blend three-part liquid, three-part nutrients, okay? So let's cover what we do. We put this in the, uh, in the sleeve. We fill it up using our gauge. We, um, we make this little... Groucho Marx pool noodle joint thing here, right? We tuck it in like this here after we fill it, right? We tuck it in. Then we put the rubber band on to hold everything in place. And then we nest it in another cup. It's super stable. It keeps out all the light. It's super stable. It keeps out all the light. Works like a charm. You saw how well it works, right? You can harvest things quick. You can make a lot of food production. It's a really, really good way to go, okay? So I hope you guys do this. If you have any questions, hook me up in the comments and uh, ask any questions you like, and I'll try and get you any answers, right? But this works really, really well. So you could do this in a smaller version, like on the side of your fridge. Uh, I'm going to show you a build with a dollar store one as well, coming up real soon. First, I'm going to do that, uh, the uh, high-density lettuce, so that one's super important.
Okay, guys, let's talk about how to fill this bad boy. All right, check this out. So what I do is I'll place the cups in there without the plants and without the tops. Okay, the cups are in there. And then what I'll do is I will go through and I will I will make this, which is just a, a gauge, right? So rather than try and measure where it's at and peek over the top and see the fluid levels, I just fill my fill cup to the right line and then I pour it in there. And then I take my fill cup to my bucket, fill my fill cup to the right line, pour it in the next one. Use this as a gauge and you have the exact same amount in every uh, container. Works out super great. I don't have to be playing peek peekaboo or anything like that, all right? I have this just a little bit more than a thumb's width down. Remember, you want, in all the cracky stuff, this is a cracky grow, in all the cracky stuff, you want one inch of roots above the, the uh, hydroponic fluid. One inch. I usually try and shoot for one inch above and one inch below. That way I know my plant's going to take off and do really well. Okay? So that's how you do the initial fill. Coming up next, we'll tell you about how to do the topping off. Okay, guys. To top these off, I use my super secret uh, Harry Potter magic wand, right? It's a turkey baster, right? First, I wave it in the air and I say, grow a kiss, a bunch of kiss. And then I fill it, right? I use this on tons of my hydroponics, man. It works really, really well. You can do it one-handed. Solves a lot of the problems of some of the other systems that I've used, okay? So these are held secure by the, the foam, by the uh, sheet or, uh, shoe organizer. All I do is just lift the styrofoam, plug it in like that, and give it a couple good squeezes, right? This is good for taking it out if you overfill as well. You can just suck it right up, okay? It works out super awesome. Just a couple of squeezes and that thing's, it's rocking, it's filled up, ready to go, okay? So I do an initial fill and then after the plants get bigger, I'll come by and just top them off, just giving it a couple of squeezes, just tuck it right into that little pool noodle and give it a couple of squeezes. Couldn't be easier, works like magic. All right, yeah, so that's it. This thing's rocking. This thing works so well. No more excuses, right? This thing is so easy, so easy to build, uses no tools. You can make this thing for 20 bucks. You can be rocking. Be one of the cool kids. Let's do some hydroponics. Let's do it together. Hey, check it out. Get to work. Get this thing built. It's easy. You can do this in an hour or less. Yeah, so I'm loving it, man. I hope you do this. I really do. Hey, share this video with your friends. Grow along with them. Grow along with me. Let's grow together, right? Hey, check it out. Share my video, like my video, subscribe to my site. I got lots more builds on a lot of stuff. This is one of my favorites. I hope you do this. I really do. It's a great one. So I'm glad I can share it with you. Hey, you guys, let's do this. Let's get it going. This is Troy time. I'm loving it. I hope you are too. I'm out.